Minister of Health, Chitalo Chilofia, says government has heightened surveillance at all countries' entry points to curb the spread of COVID-19. Dr. Chilofia also says anyone coming into Zambia from COVID-19 risk countries will be subjected to a 14-day quarantine at their own cost. He explained that those returning from Tanzania and other risk countries will be quarantined for 14 days. And Dr. Chilofia said so far more than 1,000 health workers have been recruited. Here is a report. Another day, another update on COVID-19. Chief Government Spokesperson Dora Celia spent most of the time at the briefing putting into context the President's address to the nation. The President re-emphasized that the churches that had always been advised by Ministry of Health to operate uh, for limited time, for, with limited numbers, uh, could go ahead. Uh, but at the end of the day, again, the key term in the president's of speech there was May. And the normal we are talking about is the new normal. The normal we have now, where we have terms such as social distancing, where we have uh, the Minister of uh, Health advising that we all go around wearing masks. That is the new normal. And whenever we do anything, those are the issues that uh, we must consider. And we want to put on record again the leadership that has shown by the various faiths uh, uh, in this country, both Christian, Muslim, Hindu, and others, uh, that they have stood with the people of Zambia, with government, that uh, we, whatever we are going to do is within the confines of uh, statutory instrument number 21 and 22 and the advice and measures that the Minister of Health uh, uh, has been giving. Ms. Celia, who is also Minister of Information and Broadcasting Services, clarified certain issues. There's another key term. This uh, multi-sectoral approach has been based on it being scalable. Being scalable up, being scalable down, depending on the advice that we get from the Ministry of Health. And that was also very important in the speech by the President yesterday, that uh, he'll continue to be advised by the Ministry of Health, that this can be scaled up, uh, scaled down. Uh, but at the end of the day, this is a health, an economic, and a social problem. And to be honest, Zambians, we have to try and find a way to live within this environment, to get the economy going so that the Minister of Finance does not have sleepless nights, uh, to ensure that uh, we're in social contact, but at the same time, to ensure that we do not allow the spread of this disease. In terms of the health issues, as of yesterday, the President was uh, uh, informing the nation we have uh, 84 cumulative cases, the B37 recoveries as of yesterday, and 40 four patients as of, uh, of uh, yesterday. Uh, clearly the measures that uh, had been uh, uh, given to us uh, in the last one month continue. No bars are to operate. Cinemas can't operate. Gyms can't operate. Nightclubs cannot operate. Any gathering we must still consider the measures as provided for by the public health in terms of gathering, in terms of time. The longer you are with each other, the more susceptible you are to contracting the disease. Minister of Health Chitalu Chilufia spoke about certification rules on public gatherings. Uh, to this effect, the president did emphasize the measures and all the measures the president emphasized in any sector he put one statement that has been very consistent about subject to public health regulations, guidelines, and certification. This therefore implies that should there be need for any gathering that has been included, there is need to comply to the guidelines and regulations under the Public Health Act. And there are authorized officers who will certify that you are ready to do that. And should there be inability to comply to those measures, it is important to note that there shall be no certification. And should you be magnanimous like the church mother bodies have been and state that you are not able to congregate under the guidelines, regulations, and uh, certification rules that His Excellency President Lunga has put in place. And you believe that it is not possible to, uh, to, 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 to congregate. It is important that, again, you engage and state so. Our public health officers are on the ground. They are ready to engage with you and are ready to assess and ascertain 
your adherence to the regulations and guidelines and are authorized to certify. So I emphasize that the President has directed that certain gatherings may cautiously reopen subject to adherence to the Public Health Act number 295 and statutory instrument 21 and 22 and the other regulations thereof and certification by public health officers. These are tough times. Nearly every sector of the economy has been affected by the COVID-19 pandemic and the government is calling on economic players to adjust the way they have been conducting their businesses. For each and every sector, let us re-examine how and whether it is possible for us to reorganize the way we work, but allow work to continue in a safe way. The President was very emphatic about the fact that we will be guided in this process by our friends from the Ministry of Health. The Ministry of Health, in fact, will certify that, yes, the measures that you have put in place are safe for you to carry out business, whether it's uh, you know, in the uh, salon industry or whether it's a restaurant, I don't know. But what is important is that as we attempt to open up business, we don't do it in a reckless way, but we do it in a well-organized and thoughtful manner with the direct uh, guidance from the Ministry of Health, we should be able to do this and we should be able to save a lot more of our companies and ensure that but when we're finished, when we are over with this whole exercise, we will have companies still standing rather than all companies dead. Sporting activities which does not involve contact between players. But football, it being closed on, which simply means no fans are allowed to watch, but players are going to have contact. They are going to, to be fighting for one ball, which simply means among the players there will be a contact. So going by that, we won't allow them to go ahead. And if they are those stones, first of all, they should be certification by the Minister of Health. Without certification, we won't allow them. In the last 24 hours, Zambia has not recorded any case of COVID-19. The message from the briefing is that there should be a balance between keeping the economy afloat and staying safe from COVID-19. Efim Pande, ZNBC News, Lusaka. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, leave a comment, and subscribe.